The trend is your friend until it bends. Let's go deeper. Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. So most people don't realize that to make money in the markets, it's all about your ability to trade with trend. I mean, you can look at any strategy, any setup, you know, whether you're using indicators, no indicators, using market structure, whatever you're using at the end of the day, people who win in trading are trading with trend right at all times you have to make sure you're trading with trend at all times so whatever strategy you're using if it's not a with trend strategy more than likely you're going to be losing because you know the market has many traps you know uh, big money sets many traps bad common trading knowledge is a trap and most of the traps are designed to get you to counter trend trade most traders are losing because they counter trend trade and there's nothing more important than trading with trend i mean i don't care what your strategy is at the end of the day it needs to have you trading with trend you need to find a way to be going with big money to be moving with the flow because if you try to swim against the current you're gonna drown okay you have to be swimming with current okay you have to be trading with the trend there is not there just it's nothing more important than trading with trend okay so this is a key key factor of why the sweet spot trade works why understanding the market cycle is so important because you need to understand where the, what the market is doing right see the market cycle allows us to know what the market is doing and it allows us to trade with trend because we understand that you're going to get a, a first leg trend, two legs of correction, and then a second leg of continuation of that first leg. Therefore, when we take our sweet spot trade, it may it may look like we're counter trend trading at the beginning, you know, but as as the prices start to move in the direction we're expecting because we understand the market cycle then you start to notice like, no, I'm trading with trend. Everybody else who was counter trend trading just got trapped. And now I'm winning trading with big money. So don't let big money, you know what I'm saying, fool you and trap you into becoming a counter trend trader. Most of the indicators are designed to make you a counter trend trader, okay? Breakout strategies are designed to make you a counter trend trader. You know, those pivot points and stuff like that, they're designed to make you a counter trend trader. <laughs> so what you need to do is make sure you're trading with trend and understanding the market cycle and using the 21 EMA will help you, guide you, keep you on the right side of the market. It's about being on the right side of the market. But the profits, the gains, the money is made trading with trend. OK, so that's the that's my little spiel for today. Real short, real sweet. Make sure whatever strategy you're using out here that you're trading with trend. You know, that cliche is I mean, the trend is your friend. That's a real thing. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of sayings out here in the, in the marketplace that really don't have no weight. That got a lot of weight. OK, the trend is your friend holds a lot of weight. It's a real thing. All right, until it bends, right? Until you get that break. But as long as prices are staying, say you draw trend lines, as long as prices is bouncing up your trend line and going up, trend is your friend. As long as, in my, our case, as long as prices are bouncing off that 21 EMA, making higher, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, the trend is your friend. So, you, you know, the trend is your friend. <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I'm really trying to hammer this home. That listen, you need to be trading with, trend and the, you know the 21 ema is the great tool it's a it's a moving average and it will help you you know if prices are staying above that 21 ema 
you're trending up. If prices are staying below that 21 EMA, you're trending down. It's that simple. The 21 EMA really helps you, um, you know, this, this, I want to say discern, probably not the right word, but it really helps you stay on the right side of the market. It lets you know what the market is doing. Is it we're trending up or trending back? If it's been above, if prices have been above that 21 EMA for an extended amount of time, we are trending up. Okay, and if you see that first leg and you see a break under that EMA, that's counter trend trades coming in. Don't go short right there. That's a trap. That's a trap. You wait for everybody to exhaust that down, that correction, and then once you get back above the EMA again, the trend is going to continue. Then you go. So now you're trading with trend. The 21, the 21 EMA is your friend also. All right, the trend is your friend, and the 21 EMA is your friend, and they. they Follow the 21 EMA. It will not lead you astray. All right. So that uh, now that's my spiel for today. We're going to get into the work study lesson. And then please stay all the way to the end for the trade example, of course. And so right now is a like, great time to hit that like button for your boy. Look out for me and uh, subscribe if you haven't because we gonna, we drop some good hearts, gems, fire, knowledge, trading, wealth knowledge to get wealth i'm just talking good stuff on this channel we drop good stuff so subscribe if you haven't already done so all right let's get to that uh work study lesson roll it hey guys how's it going jd here so in this work study lesson we'll be looking at the euro usd and as you can see from here we had a beautiful trend down trend break retest the new low that market cycle is over rule of two right there but then you get this push up now Here's something I want to talk about today in this work study lesson is how I use the zigzag indicator to, you know, be able to spot legs easily like here and here. That's a quick two legs, but I don't depend on the zigzag. It's just a visual guide because it would definitely lead you astray at times. OK, um, my I used to only trade with the 21 EMA. That's truly all you need, you know um to really tell what's going on because see here here the zigzag only gave us one leg up but really there was two there was a clear because look look what happened when we got above the ma we're above we're above we're above break right here so this is this is a clear trend up trend break right here we got one two three four candles under the ma that's a clean trend break then we retested to new high right so this little market cycle is over but if i was only looking at the zigzag i would say oh no we need another leg and i would miss this whole run see that so make sure you're using the 21 ema that's the true guy not the zigzag i only had a zigzag on here to to kind of quickly spot legs like if i'm when i'm scanning through you know but once i focus in and see that we're at the sweet spot you know because you draw your fear from the top to the bottom, you get the sweet spot zone right here, 50%, 618. I mean, you know, you don't want to miss this run because you're waiting for another zigzag leg because the EMA is what gives us direction, right? So here, if we look over here, prices are staying under this EMA. Baby break stayed under the EMA. Now, this is a legit trend break, but then boom, when we come back run under the EMA again, you know, there's a lot of trades in here. Drop down. So then we, we come up, but we're only above the EMA for a small amount of time, enough to make a trend up, trend break, retest. And then boom, we're right back under the 21 EMA. So once we get back under it, it's time to go with trend again. All right. So use the 21 EMA to determine what's happening. You know, I use the 21 EMA to read the price action, not the zigzag. So what the throw that out there today because again you miss all this run if you're just looking for two zigzag legs all right but let's see what happened here so like i was saying beautiful trend down all right then right here you see the trend up trend break retest the new high this market cycle is over it's current it's now go time so if you don't go on this first candle which i kind of understand it's hard to see this one you can kind of see this as a you can kind of see it as a first entry push up second entry short it's real hard to see um it would be real hard to call it too because well you know i do like the matching tops here and coming back out here i'm gonna mark it i'm gonna mark it i might would take that i still got room back to the ma um i i, I see the trend up trend break retest new high strong rejection i kind of like that one 
But then if you don't take that one, the safer trade is always to wait for a lower high, which comes right behind it. High, push down, lower high. Look at this beautiful signal candle. On this one, you get rejection too. See, it ran, ran up first, trapped everybody going long above this area. Trapped them, came down strong, basically turned into a falling hammer. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Um, oh, you know what? Do you win that second entry? One, two, three, four, five. See, you lose that. See there? See there? Take it off. See, that's why I didn't want to mark it. I knew it was a little suspect. See, you go here, you lose this. So, but I'm going to mark it red because sometimes I may take that one. But you lose that puppy. Again, the safer trade in this situation is the lower high because you're trying to pick the turn. You know, you're trying to pick the turn. So the safer entry in this situation is to wait for a high, lower high, which comes right here. And that one is a beauty. One, two, three, four, five. That's, you know, that's no problem. All right. Then we push down. So you get down here. I actually saw this as a push up first entry, push, 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 second entry short. So I went right here. But the better, cleaner second entry from this low is here. Push up, first entry, push, 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 second entry short right here. This is actually a bigger, stronger looking second entry short, you know. But this is so close. Like these is kind of matching. It's so close, but actually it's not matching. It's not matching. Let's call it, let's call a square, a square. Hold on a second. So this bottom right here. Nope, it's not matching. So as far as counting legs, you have to start from the lowest point. So when we pushed up and broke lower here, I can't count this as a second entry anymore because this is the lowest point. So you have to reset the count. That's why this second entry looks better and works better than this one. This is actually a first entry. All right, so this candle here is a first entry because your count has to start from the lowest point. So it's, it's push up, push down, that's one, that's first entry. Push up, push down, that's second entry. It makes perfect sense. That's why this one works so much better, <laughs> so much better. So my count was wrong here. I actually took a first entry, it just worked out and it barely worked out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. See, I had to win on the final candle and only won by a little bit because I took a first entry. But if you just wait for the second entry, home run, bam, all right? So then this is tough. I mean, this candle here, you really wanna go on. I can't really call it anything though. I, I just, it's such a beautiful candle though. Off the EMA, falling hammer, closing lord and stuff to the left. But there's, I just can't put a name on it. Oh, I wanna mark it so bad. <laughs> I want to mark it so bad, but I honestly can't put a name on it. Mm, mm, mm. But man, that's what you want right there. Off the EMA, closed on this low. You got targets of here and here. I just can't put a name on it. Mm, I can't put a name on it. I got to mark it. I can't leave it. It's so beautiful. No, I can't. What? I'm conflicted. I'm not going to mark it. I'm not going to mark it. But if you take it, I understand. But then you get the classic high, push down, lower high. This one is scary because it's too far away from the EMA. All right, this one is very scary because it's too far from the EMA. But what it has going for it is that you clearly know you're trending now, right? You just had this beautiful candle off the EMA, then a big boy right after it, tried to come up, couldn't, came back down, closed under this bar. The target is, the target is right here. You're under the EMA. You're trending. You know you're trading with trend at this point. There's no question, right? It turned here. It tried to pull back and made the second entry short right off the EMA. Then it made this beautiful fall right off the EMA. At this point, you are confident that you're trading with trend. So every lower high, you know, here's a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Every lower high you go because you know you trade with trend. You take every lower high until you hit the target right here, which brings us to this beauty right here. It's another one. P high, push down, lower high, pushed up, trapped everybody thinking the run was over, counter trend trading, going long. They got trapped. Another beautiful hammer closed on this low. 
and then boom, 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 boom. That's that's game time. I can't take it. I got to mark it. It was a beautiful candle. Sorry, had to mark it. All right, that is the work study lesson for today. That's what I saw. And hey, if you saw this continuation leg, you you racked up, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of seven, six out of seven, right there. You know, that's that's a good day. Any day where you can go six out of seven. It's a good day, all right? That's a good day. So that's the work study lesson for today. It's a great time to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Look out for your boy. And so for staying this long, of course, I have a trade example for you. So let's roll it. Thanks for hanging out with me all the way to the end. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button if you enjoyed that content. If you want to learn more price action trading, check out this video right here. My name is JD, and as always, I wish you increase on the Sutton. Bye-bye.